All right, we've covered the 401k. We've covered a few distributions of it. Um, there is the event in your life when you change jobs. Your 401k from your previous employer is now cut off. Even if you happen to work for a company that uses the same 401k uh, custodian, you still can't put money in your employer's for your previous employer's 401k. So that account is officially um, stagnant for the rest of your life. Uh, so the the options would be to sit on the mutual funds that you had bought during that time, which may or may not be a bad idea, but um, most likelihood you'll want to get out of that beta investment and start alpha investing again. So uh, there's a couple options you have. You pretty much want to roll it over into an IRA. Now, the best IRA for most people is the Roth IRA. <laughs> so the Roth IRA for most people is a much better um, auxiliary retirement account. You can really... Um, use after-tax money that you contribute to it and then you can pretty much do whatever you want with it and how you spend it and how you use it uh, it's it's wonderful the problem is when you come out of a 401k you have pre-tax money so if you roll it into a Roth you would have to pay the taxes so that's not very advantageous for most people there are situations uh, with certain people where it can work out maybe if you're a high income high net worth person but for most people the easiest thing to do would be to roll it into a traditional IRA or an IRA rollover, sometimes they call it, uh, and that uh, is pre-tax money. So it's pre-tax to pre-tax. And now with this pre-tax account, you can't really contribute to it with after-tax money. So you kind of want to have it set up to do one of, you want to have it um, set up in a strategy that uses its own money. So it can be kind of on an, operating on its own island. There's a few ways to do this, and I have quite a few strategies here that can help you. Uh, what I would, what I would suggest is if it's under ten thousand uh, dollars, just pay the taxes, roll it into a Roth, and then you can manage that as a second, um, a retirement account, an auxiliary retirement account, and have all the benefits of the Roth. If it's over ten thousand, now you've got enough capital to really have a self, uh, an independent strategy that could operate on an island, uh, for the next however many years uh, indefinitely because it has to so I would I would definitely go with the traditional IRA in that case and just not contribute outside capital to it and use the capital that it has to maintain itself with its own network of strategies uh, and again those strategies are all available for here for free